Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Starting this new week, a very important week, a week of great events, of many changes, beginning of a new stage. The entire conjunction of planets that is happening during this period is extremely important for the final result. Rest assured, you will have a clear perception of the changes that will come. With each stage that begins, your planet Gaia, or Earth, as you usually call it, changes. It is as if Gaia was a great receptacle of light, and as the stages progress, she fills more and more and more with light. Pressing all events and the molecular structure of all of you. Many are concerned about the degree to which their bodies are changing. What will change? How will I get through? What is going to happen? I have been told that the entire internal structure of your cells is changing. Your cells are becoming crystalline, no longer a simple carbon structure. It's where the other strips of your DNA are appearing, they're making themselves happen, they're taking on their importance in your bodies. No, don't try to take a cell and look at it under a microscope, because you won't see anything. Everything is happening in another dimension. It's as if their bodies were being copied, a simple way of explaining, copied into the fifth dimension. So your entire structure is being created there and it is a totally new, totally crystalline structure. No, don't imagine that there is another you, living in the fifth dimension now, that's not it. I have already explained here that you have several subtle bodies around this physical body. And the big change is happening exactly in these bodies. The etheric body and other bodies are adapting to the structure of the fifth dimension. Then when they are fully ready, your physical body will receive the transformation. Many are noticing some changes, in height, eye color, weight loss, or gain, which is not justified by the diet you are eating. I would just say, for those of you who are gaining weight, take a moment and notice what your bodies are trying to tell you. Something you do is being pointed out as a trigger for this weight gain. So try to observe what it is. It's as if your body is saying, I can't do it this way, it's catching your attention. What is a healthy physical body? A healthy physical body is one that does not have fat accumulated anywhere. But it's also not that extremely thin body, which has nowhere to get its energy from. Your body needs accumulated fat to survive, to keep functioning. It's as if fat were the battery, which then provides the energy for your body to function. So neither one extreme nor the other. So don't understand that due to society's imposition, you have to be extremely thin. Because this is not good, you affect your metabolism, because everything there has to work much more intensely, to get it from where it doesn't exist. As for those who gain weight, what happens? They have more accumulation, the store is full and your body is unable to consume it all, then you will gain weight. It's your body's way of saying, oops, my warehouse is full, stop putting things in here. So many of you have a strange understanding, ah, but my exams are all perfect. Yes, is it normal for you to be fat? Is it normal that you are full of accumulated fat? Don't answer that in terms of society, because I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about your body. You become heavier, you become slower, because you cannot move such a structure. And you come to tell me that everything is fine? That you like, look in the mirror and like what you see? You may like what you see, but your bodies don't like it, because this is an excess for them. So up to a certain point, you can take exams and everything will be fine. But one day the bill will come because this is not normal and nothing that deviates from normal is balance. That's what I'm saying here, everything has to have balance, neither too thin nor fat. You have to live in balance, my brothers. You have to have your body having reserves to work, but not with empty warehouses and not with warehouses that are too full. So I would say to all of you, pay attention. Sweets and everything you like to eat and think is good will not exist in the fifth dimension. I already said it here, sugar was the great invention of the times, because precisely, it addicts you. The sweet taste is what makes it addictive. 
You like to taste that taste, and it's good for you because you reward yourself with sugar. He's sad, he eats sugar, is happy, eats sugar, meet a friend, eat sugar, he's alone, he eats sugar. It is the great company of today. I've been warning you here for a while now, stop this addiction. Because everything that is bad for your physical bodies will not exist. So start getting used to not having this prize every day, because you won't. The only sweet taste you will have and keep will be that of the fruits. There are extremely sweet fruits, you can eat. The fruit, not the sugar. So start observing your bodies. I would tell you, it's not about dieting, I would tell you to start telling yourself that you are independent of sugar. Look what I said, you are independent of sugar. Not to say that they don't depend on sugar. Start repeating this daily, and you will see a transformation in your bodies. My brothers, those who are giving themselves to this process, with lots of love, lots of joy, are noticing changes. It's a taste that has already changed, it's a food that you can no longer stand, it's a habit that you no longer like. Start observing. And if you put yourself in the following way, I want to prepare to go to the fifth dimension. My body, let's do some work together. My mind and you preparing us to go to the fifth dimension. Do it. No, don't think that. Oh, the archangel went crazy. How are we going to talk to the body? You have no idea what nonsense you are talking about. Your bodies have life. And as such, all the cells that are there have consciousness, and they all know what's best for them, all of them. But they are submissive to your mind, to your will. But if you say to them, help me, help me find balance, prepare me to go to the fifth dimension, your cells helped you, because you gave them the power to assert the knowledge they have, which is balance. Everything there has to be balanced. So let's begin a new stage, my brothers. And let's take advantage of this new stage that is beginning, to prepare your bodies. You are understanding here that the mental and spiritual part is already underway. So let's now focus on the other point, your bodies. So let's talk to the bodies, ask them, help me. It helps me eat in balance. Help me lose my addictions. It helps me choose correctly what to eat. And you will see the difference. Don't take this as a joke, because it isn't. It's a very serious thing and you've never done it, they never respected their bodies. That's why they gain weight and lose weight too much. Have love for your body. I haven't released you yet to go out into the street, it's not long yet. We are watching the progress of everything. But some are already going hiking, being in nature. Anyone who can do so safely without putting someone else's life at risk, should do so with great caution. It's not for everyone here now. The Archangel said I can go out now. I did not say that. I said you can walk in nature. Listen carefully to what I'm saying. And each one individually, with great caution, respecting the laws and rules. So let's begin my brothers. Let's begin to come into balance with the fifth dimension. I will not say here what will happen to their bodies. They are being changed, you can believe that. Whether you're going to get to the other side the same way you are here, I can't answer that. But you will see changes over time. I tell you my brothers, it's all very new. This is an extremely new process for the entire universe. Not that we don't know exactly what will happen, because we do. We are not irresponsible to propose this to you and have it all go wrong. We know it will work, we have already seen the results. And I can tell each of you, the result will be wonderful. You have no idea. It will be an extremely exciting moment for the entire universe. Seeing so many souls, so many bodies, ascending at once. Imagine the quantum of energy that will be moved in the universe. You are not ten, you are not one thousand, you are billions. And honestly, we have a lot of hope that two-thirds of this planet will ascend. That is our hope. A third is right, guaranteed. For the rest, we are doing everything we can, and we count on your help. 
So now I repeat again, a new stage begins today. Today we will have our global meditation, which will make this entire process anchored and affirmed. So we enter a new phase and the phase now is, preparation, it's the final stretch. It is the most difficult phase for everyone. For those of you who have been on the journey for a long time and for those who are about to awaken. So you need to be in balance. And it is not by stuffing yourself with food, sweets, drinks, or drugs that you will be in balance. You need to keep your auras clean. So do what I said. Make an agreement with your body, because it is capable, your body is capable of helping you. He's the closest friend you have for that. And I will compliment this by saying, there are many here who are already thinking, what about those who don't do it? Everything in life, my brothers, has a price, which I could call a result, a harvest. It's what I've already said here and I'll repeat it, no one will go to the fifth dimension with 100% pure, 100% unconditional love. We are aware of this. You will still have all these horrible feelings that you have, and there they will learn to work with them, to eliminate them. So, in the same way that those who are already working on their feelings here, when they get there, they will have little to do, likewise with their bodies, if you don't get treatment here before going, I can tell you that the process will be very painful, because instead of getting used to it here, and yet, in those moments of relapse, you won't have anything to do there. So it won't be an easy process, and the passage itself will not be either. Because your body will not be balanced enough for you to have a peaceful passage to Quinta. No, I'm not scaring anyone, I'm telling the truth. This life, my brothers, that you have here, is ending. The habits and addictions you have here are ending. So get rid of them while you can, slowly, with a lot of willpower, because when you arrive at the fifth, you will be very ill because the transformation will be very heavy. Because your bodies will come into balance, whether you want it or not. Do you understand? Anyone who is too thin will gain weight, and anyone who is fat will lose weight. But it's not gradual, it will be a very painful transformation. I'm not exaggerating. So you still have time. The big goal is balance with your body. Join him. Join efforts, you your mind and your body. Talk to him. Don't understand, whoever is at one of these poles or there or here, that they are normal, because they are not. This is not the normal balance of a body. So talk to your bodies. Ask them, help me. Let's go on this walk together. Help me lose my addictions. Help me lose bad habits for you. And you will have an ally, and you will see how you can reverse it all. For those who think that everything I said here is complete nonsense, I don't care. Then don't come crying, because it won't be easy, the transformation will not be easy for anyone. But for these extremes, it will be much worse. So start changing, or whoever wants, as you say, to pay to see, feel free, pay to see. This is the time, my brothers, when you have to consume very healthy things. Increasingly from now on, move away from everything that is industrialized, from everything that is highly processed, and consume only fresh and natural things. No animals. Based on your chemical process, I would say that the egg can still be consumed, fish from time to time, chicken too. Meat, definitely stop eating, and you will realize how little by little, each of those that I spoke about, you will also no longer be able to bear it. Because you will eat and you will feel sick. Because their bodies are receiving clean energies, energies of light, of very high frequency, incompatible with these foods. So when you eat, your body will say, no, I'm clean here. Don't put this dirt in here. And you're going to get it out. If you don't believe it, pay to see. Well talk again in a while. And you will say to me, what you said is happening. So it is. So my brothers, this is no joke. I'm not here advocating the perfect body. I am advocating a balanced body, one that only consumes things that are good for the body, and in balance. 
There is also no point in eating one kilogram of each vegetable at once. This is not it. Everything is about balance, it's about eating exactly what your body needs, the amount it needs. What you eat in addition, it is not the body that needs it, it is the mind. The mind needs to eat, not the body. So think about it. Soon we will all be together. Anyone who wants to participate, even if they don't know me, or don't follow the channel, everyone can participate. It is a meditation for good, for the evolution of this planet. So the more people involved, the better. And I say more, invite your children to participate. It's not imposing, it's an invitation. Invite them, and have the patience and humility to listen to them later. You will be surprised. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here, ready to start this new journey with you. Towards the fifth dimension.